Good morning everybody, welcome to Mortal Gaming, this is me again, Marvin, and we're now here for another video for Ragnarok Origin. And this time we're going to be discussing the update patch notes that is happening this January 17. So that is tomorrow, alright. So, the Sacred Libra, Awakening Feathers, Latin Power, new content is coming to town. It's earlier than the Dora, so let's see. So we, we will be having a maintenance this January 17. So basically the Sacred Libra is the new content so that you could do something else with your uh, down feathers or the dismantled feathers that you have because you know basically a lot of people have already maxed out their tier levels on their feathers. So what else to do with your other feathers than to upgrade it to something else which is this one okay it's going to be a new weighing scale thing sacred libra you are just gonna you know convert it to weights and those weights will be applied to get more stats etc it's a new content okay so next would be the wheel of talos so basically we had this six months ago so it's coming back and you can now not only get Floral Ayara, Ayara <laughs> but also the Dream Origami Crane. What is that? Okay, there you go. <laughs> so basically, you're gonna ride, you know, origamis. And I think it's cute. Okay, you can get that. So what's the stats on this one? Attack plus 2%, magical attack plus 2% damage versus wind monsters plus five percent you can get also optional orange sigils type e module boxes and more okay emoji machine is coming back <laughs> my goodness after baphomet booty there's the number one after the number one there's the the emoji machine it's a cycle of pay to win events <laughs> Okay, so you can get uh, 500 Nyan Berries, Type E Module, Mini Album, okay, Snowman, okay, you can get either Snowman, Husky, Sled, or Octopus Drift Bottle. So I think the Octopus Drift Bottle, we had that last time. The Husky Sled, I think, um, where is that? I think this one, okay, we already have this before. So the new addition is just the snowman. It's just this one, okay? So basically you're gonna be your character is gonna be inside. You won't see your character. <laughs> so if you click the trick preview, your character will show. Okay. <laughs> Next, okay. And then we will now get the endless tower 60th floor. So as of the moment, we are at maximum 50th floor. Now, we're gonna get 60th floor, okay? The optimized auto battle, all right. So, so the optimized auto battle is here. We're happy to see this one for all of the job classes except the guillotine cross. <laughs> they all have the AI improvement or the AI toggle on the skills. So um, for the uh, rune knights, we have the skills wherein you can use it to toggle those skills if you want it to be used during the dragon zion or not okay mainly the normal attack the dragon breath and for the warlocks you can now uh use the toggle in order for you to always always use the secondary skills or the the bigger skills like the comet and chain lightning if you already have two elemental orbs all right so um the tetra vortex also soul expansion reading spell book also okay so radiant verdict for the archbishops prayer purity radiant shocks all of this uh you can also toggle it if you want it to be released or use the, the character to use it when your holy power is above a certain amount of value and for the ranger a better ai for the ranger you can now include all of this and just adjust it and toggle on and off whenever you want it to be used by your character for the mechanics the flame launcher will now be automatically used whenever you have a certain amount of thermal energy so that you won't explode all right so for the guillotine cross it's 
still the same. Apparently, the developers seem to not notice any any problem with it. So there it is. <laughs> so they optimized also the voice chat system, the return binding. There is a desire for battle for the weekends again. Operation Commission uh, starting from January 22 and ending to January 29 beach party so you can get awesome rewards whenever you defeat monsters union okay operation union for additional union coins super extreme challenge all right new outfits we have this upcoming gacha which is called the atlantis gacha what is it so it is this one the atlantis gacha and you must see the the female costume it's also regal it's very elegant okay so for the costume we have this one it's just you know a plain um, warlock costume when you refine it to plus 12 you get up to four percent magic damage bonus that is depending on your sp you have in plus eight magical attack plus four percent fixed cast time reduction sp consumption reduction and sp uh max sp five percent so wait don't stop watching i know you will get excited with this good news i have for you we have a new partnership in the channel introducing the king james enterprise or the kje the kje has been the source of thousands of players for all their discounted top-ups not only in mobile legends lords mobile genshin impact but also all of the ragnarok franchises ever since Ragnarok Eternal Love. And KJE is now expanding also to Ragnarok Origin. So are you excited? I am excited. Just use the promo code below IMMORTALMBGG to get huge discounts on your first top-ups and even on your succeeding top-ups. So what are you waiting for? Let's top up on Ragnarok Origin with me. See you there. Next would be the mythical wings. This one is the headgear. Okay, we have damage and magic damage 3.5%. And um, when you take critical damage, you gain a shield equivalent to 5% of your max HP and increase your critical resist by 15, reduce physical damage by 5%. And it lasts for 5 seconds with a downtime of 10 seconds. So I think it's okay it's not you know something to be crazy about for the back wear we have uh, healing received damage versus water monsters healing plus five percent water damage resist and so it's just a uh, plain random things put together so yep and this one is the best one this is for the you know magic users particularly warlocks look at this magic damage plus four percent physical damage plus two percent ignore magic defense three percent global cooldown reduction three percent all stats plus two um, max sp plus three percent and when you cast a skill you gain three layers of tranquility each layer of tranquility increases your damage by three percent so that's a total of nine percent this lasts for 2.5 seconds for each layer. It's reduced by one layer for every two seconds, etc. So this is good for this is a very good face wear for the warlocks. Alright. Moving on. Alright. So we now have the strawberry and panda gacha. Remember the supposed uh, gacha that we will be having last time? They made it. To an uh, you know a more nyan berry based gacha, so the ones were in you you have a chance for each draw, but uh, there is a sure chance that you will get it on a certain number of draw. So know that gacha that is sold on the RO shop, then that is this one. So that includes the panda uh, set, the panda set being one of those most sought gacha in taiwan server okay it is this one okay it's this one the, uh, the positive panda first and foremost has strength plus six agility plus six 
And uh, attack and magic and attack plus 4%. Ignore magic defense. Ignore physical defense plus 5%. Physical and magic damage reduction plus 4%. And when you get attacked, you increase your movement speed and attack speed by 5%. Each physical damage bonus by 5%. Your flee by 25%. And this lasts for 2 seconds. It has a downtime of 2 seconds too. And look at that. When you refine this costume to plus 10, damage reduction versus demi-human plus 10%. That is a lot. <laughs> and you need 5,000 yen berry to get this for sure. So for the headwear, the headwear is amazing. It is this one. Panda headgear. So this has damage Physical damage and magic damage plus 3.5%. Healing plus 8%. Fixed cast time minus 3%. Holy skill damage plus 6%. And when you refine it to plus 12, when your HP is 100% or above 99%, you, have, uh, you increase your movement speed by 5%. And when you get damaged or when your HP goes below 99%, you get 20% increased physical and magic damage reduction. 20%. 20%. So this is much more um, consistent than the New Year Rainbow headgear that we had because that one, uh, you need healing and it has a downtime. As compared with this one, it doesn't have a downtime. You just have to go below 99% and you increase already your physical and magic damage reduction by 20%. So this is so good for archbishops. This is so good for tanks, even for tanks, because I would go for 20% damage reduction just because. <laughs> just because in and if ever the Royal Guards will be, you know, coming out, this is really good. Alright? So for the back wear, it is this one is just pure damage reduction from both boss monsters and from uh, players so six percent damage reduction from the two of those additional load limit or you know weight plus one thousand damage and magic damage physical damage and magic damage plus two point five percent movement speed and attack speed plus three percent and you get plus eleven of either strength or vitality whichever is higher next will be the panda stickers so strength int and luck plus five dam physical damage and magic damage plus two point five percent and when you refine it to plus 12, you get more damage to formless monsters, to plant monsters, and you get damage reduction also. And for the strawberry set gacha, it is this one, summer strawberry. For the back wear, it is this one, all right? For the mouth wear, it is this one. For the headgear, it is this one. There you go. All right, moving on. They have added new items that can be purchased on the diamond shop. We can now purchase the time and space feathers, nature and divine feathers on our diamond shop. So that's a great upgrade for those who are F2Ps. Okay, they have uh, optimized the earth domain effects for, for those who are still using land protector in PVE scenes or on monsters grinding to irritate somebody else you can no longer use it on pve scenes and they have adjusted the damage display to millions and to thousands m for million and k to thousands so i think some people are sad about that including me i want to see my my damage and aside from that um they have introduced the posture status for monsters so adventures must first break their posture status in order for you to damage the monster so i'm not sure about that uh we'll be seeing that when the patch comes and some of this are just you know a couple of adjustments and bugs and fixes so this is for the future updates we will now have the season three season three of nightmare temple third job power awakening what was that what is that about and optimize gameplay so that's it thank you everybody for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe if you haven't to like this video please do leave a like share this to your friends and click that bell notification button so you get notified every time i upload a new video 
start a new stream or a new content. That's it. See you again on the next video. Bye-bye!